Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term agentic memory and you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch on with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is agentic memory? Well, agentic memory is a system that lets an agent store, recall, and use information across interactions, enabling continuity, learning, and context awareness over time. This allows LLM agents to adapt, personalize, reflect, remembering past events, facts, and decisions to guide future reasoning or actions. So wait a minute, can't the LLM itself remember for the agentic system? Well, not really, but let's come back to this question in a bit. So let's quickly cover the different types of memory used in an agentic system. Agentic systems utilize both short-term and long-term memory to handle immediate tasks and store information over time. Short-term memory is used for real-time operations, while long-term memory builds a comprehensive knowledge base. In essence, these memory types work together to enable agentic systems to function effectively and learn continuously. So how is short-term memory typically implemented? Well, short-term memory is often implemented using context windows, which allow the agentic system to maintain continuity in real-time tasks. Agentic systems often keep summaries in the context to efficiently manage and retrieve relevant information during interactions. Simply put, short-term memory acts like a temporary workspace, holding information just long enough to complete a task. So how is long-term memory implemented? Well, long-term memory is typically implemented using an external data store which stores information for easy retrieval. It's common to use a RAG pipeline, leveraging a vector database to integrate stored knowledge to be powered back up with LLM prompts. In simple terms, long-term memory is like a library where information is stored, cataloged, and accessed when needed. So it turns out there are different types of long-term memory. Examples of long-term memory in an agentic system include episodic, semantic, and procedural memory, with each serving different functions. Episodic memory stores specific events. Semantic memory holds general knowledge, and procedural memory retains skills and procedures. Essentially, these memory types allow systems to store a wide range of information, from facts to experiences and skills. So how is episodic memory implemented? Well, episodic memory is implemented by storing detailed records of specific events, often using time-stamped data entries. This allows a system to recall past interactions and experiences, providing context for future decisions. In layman terms, episodic memory is like a diary where events are recorded and can be revisited when needed. So how is semantic memory implemented? Well, semantic memory is implemented by organizing general knowledge into structured formats and stored in knowledge graphs or a relational database. So wait a minute, if the LLM the agent is using is trained using knowledge about the world, why is semantic memory even needed? Shouldn't that knowledge already be encoded into the weights of the LLM? So it turns out, off-the-shelf LLM training weights have been encoded with static, generalized understanding of the world up to its training cutoff. Alternatively, semantic memory in the agent stores new knowledge that emerges during agentic operation. This operational knowledge can be facts, concepts, and relationships that the LLM doesn't have at training time. So here's some simple examples. During operation, the agent learns that a user prefers Python over Java, or an agent infers from a company's database that bug 123 was fixed in version 3.5 of the software. This dynamic or proprietary knowledge isn't encoded in the LLM weights, but instead is learned and stored after deployment. 
Simply put, semantic memory is like an encyclopedia where facts and concepts not available in the LLM are stored for easy reference. So next, how is procedural memory implemented? Well, procedural memory is implemented by including skills and procedures and saving these reusable plans, graphs, or chains in a data store. This type of memory is crucial for tasks that require repetitive actions or learned skills. In essence, procedural memory is like a manual or a runbook where instructions for tasks are stored and executed as needed. So going back to the question asked earlier in the video, can't the LLM remember all of this for the identic system? And well, the answer is no. LLMs themselves are stateless between interactions, meaning they do not retain state for the agentic system. Additionally, LLMs do store knowledge in their weights, but this does not equate to agentic runtime memory. These LLM weights were encoded with knowledge during training and are fixed once the LLM is released to production. Additionally, LLMs are not trained with your company's proprietary information. So this is yet another reason LLMs can't provide memory for your agentic system. Okay, so in summary, agentic memory is a system that lets an AI agent store, recall, and use information across interactions. This, for the agent, enables continuity, learning, and context awareness over time. Okay, so let me know what you think of agentic memory. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you think about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. And one last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. <laughs> and if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about this as well. And with that, have a great day, thanks.